This is where presidential campaigns come to die. A poor performance in the snows of Iowa, outside the top three, and dreams of the White House can melt away. Both Republicans and Democrats will caucus here, gather, talk, set aside the polls and the publicity, and pick the person they want to be president. This campaign has been going on for months, although it feels much longer than that. But here, now, in Iowa, in the frozen Midwest of America's winter, the contest really begins to heat up. Here, we will get the first real test of public opinion, the first votes, the first indication of where America's two main parties are headed. This has been a strange campaign. The conventional wisdom was this would end up a contest between Hillary Clinton from the Democrats and Republican Jeb Bush. But one event changed the dynamic and the face of American politics. Donald Trump getting into the race. I mean, I think if you look back on this election, it was going to be a very different kind of conversation, a very different discussion had Donald Trump not decided to run. Trump is the most talked about, most covered candidate and provided the most incendiary moment of the campaign. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. The Republican field has been packed. Outsiders like Trump, Texas Senator Ted Cruz and neurosurgeon Ben Carson challenging establishment figures like Bush, Senator Marco Rubio and Governor Chris Christie, among others. And that's exposed divisions in the party on key issues like immigration, taxation and the best way to handle foreign policy. While on the side of the Democrats, the field has narrowed to three with two frontrunners, Hillary Clinton and another outsider, self-acknowledged socialist Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. He wants to see universal health care, free college education and higher taxes to pay for it all. He's appealing to the political left of his party. The sharp contrast between and inside both parties a sign that people are fed up with politics as usual. We've seen that both parties are, are getting, uh, are moving uh, to ideological extremes. I think it's happening more obviously on the Republican side. Uh, and, and, and Republicans, if you poll them, they, they really dislike their own party leadership. That isn't really happening on the Democratic side. Um, I think the Democrats, it's more that there's just a lot of anxiety about Hillary Clinton. Politicians stake a lot on success in Iowa. But the last two Republican winners haven't secured the nomination. Still, the parties spend time and money in the state, and that's why the Iowa caucuses matter, because everyone thinks they do. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Iowa.